welcome to the third video of GearHeads How To. Today we're going to be doing another fabrication one, which is kind of a follow up to GearHeads How To number two. Um, so today we're going to be using this CAD file we have, and we're going to show how to take this simple piece and put it onto a piece of aluminum and make it in real life. So today for the tools we're going to need and the materials we're going to use, we're going to need our CAD model printed out. Um, we're going to need a pair of scissors, a ball peen hammer, and a center punch to go along with it. A file, uh, a drill with your proper drill bit size, and some spray adhesive. Alright, so what we've done here, we've taken our, we've taken a face from our CAD model, we've turned it into a PDF, and we've printed it all, all at full scale. So first, just for our manufacturing process, we want to roughly cut it out. Now making sure we have a paper backing so we don't get glue everywhere, we're going to take our spray adhesive, we're going to put it a little bit over our piece of metal, and we're going to spray it a few times. Now, now we just wait a little bit for the glue to get tacky. Okay, so after you've waited a minute or two for the glue to become tacky, you're going to put your piece of paper onto your metal, making sure that all of the lines on it are within the boundaries. Make sure it's flat then just press it on. So with this kind of edge here you can see if we're cutting and my fingers get down here it, it's going to get really close to my fingers the blade might cut them so we can use a wooden push stick once it get close to your fingers or anything you don't want to get cut and then that will keep your fingers safe from getting cut. Now that we've got our piece cut out with the bandsaw, we can use it. We can use our file to bring it down right to the line. So put it in your vise. Put some put some light down pressure on the file, and do and do some nice diagonal strokes so you can get a lot of the piece with one stroke. Now that the piece is to the right size, we want to mark out the holes so we can drill them. So we're going to take our center punch. And we'll put it in the middle of each hole and we'll lightly tap it a few times and then we'll check to verify that it's actually in the middle of the hole. If it is, we can put that center punch right back in there and then take our hammer again and hit it. And then we'll actually have a real big hole so we can put the drill in there. And then we can repeat this for each hole that we have. Alright, so once you so once you've clamped your piece with the block of wood to the bed of your drill clutch, you want to make sure the bit is centered over where you want to center it over the hole. So now you can turn the drill clutch on, bring it down and apply light pressure until the bit goes through. Alright, now we're going to deburr the holes using a countersink bit. Because this is a small piece, we're going to clamp it to something solid. Just apply light pressure for a few seconds. Now that we have gotten all the holes and we've filed off all the edges and now it's all smooth, the only step left is to remove the paper. So obviously we attached it with our spray adhesive. On your spray adhesive, since every brand is different, it will recommend a solvent that you can use to take off the adhesive. So in our case, um, the 3M recommends that we use mineral spirits, so that's what we'll be using. So you can kind of just take your solvent in a well ventilated area. Um, kind of just lightly pour it on your piece and then you can use another rag to just start to wipe off the piece and just like that we have a real life piece and we're done so if we take care while we're making the piece we'll have an accurate representation and model of the piece that was in our CAD now although this is a simple process um, you can use it almost all over your robot so for example here we have our duck spinner arm which was you which was made using the exact same process as we showed here uh, thank you for joining us in the third video of the GearHead How To series. Um, stay safe, keep wearing your safety glasses. Uh, we hope you can join us in the next video, number four, which will be on CNC.